Shalom everybody, Rabbi Edelstein here with another installment of Rabbi Ian 3, brought to you by Moor Washington DC, MERDC.com is our website. Check it out and learn about the programs we offer. I remember a long time ago when I first was traveling in the land of Israel, I was taken aback by a very unusual sight. I'm sure many people have noticed this. Uh, down around the Dead Sea region, there's a crossroads, an intersection on the highway there, and there are two signs pointing in opposite directions, two travel signs in opposite directions. One sign pointing in one direction says Sodom, and one sign pointing in the other direction says Jerusalem. This way toward Sodom, the ancient city that was around the Dead Sea region, this way towards Jerusalem. That sums up in a certain way our task, our responsibility, our challenge in this world. Are we heading towards the ideals of Sodom, or are we heading towards the ideals of Yerushalayim, of Jerusalem? Sodom appears in this week's Torah portion. It's destroyed in a most awesome destruction in this portion as God overturns Sodom and Gomorrah, these incredibly wealthy but wicked cities of old. What was Sodom? Sodom represented the antithesis of the spirit of tzedakah, of charity. They were very wealthy, but did not want to share their wealth with anyone. Charity and hospitality were capital crimes in Sodom, and the oral tradition tells hair-raising descriptions of the cruelty they inflicted on people who would violate that code, their own citizens who would give uh, charity or hospitality. We see it in this week's war portion with Lot when he takes in angelic visitors and the people surround Lot's house to try to hurt him and hurt the visitors. Sodom was the, the, the expression of the philosophy our rabbis say, what's mine is mine, what's yours is yours. Now that doesn't sound so bad, what's mine is mine, but it leads to cruelty and an utter lack of benevolence. The Torah wants us to become people who bestow blessing on others, who see our lives as being devoted to helping others, doing chesed, doing kindness. That was embodied by Avraham. Avraham, who in this week's Torah portion, actually prays to God to, to save Sodom and Gomorrah. Or, meaning, God, if there's righteousness and purity still left in human beings there, please, in that merit, save those cities. That's the height of Avraham's loving kindness towards his fellow man, the very antithesis of Sodom and Gomorrah. There wasn't such righteousness or holiness or potential. They were too far gone, and God destroys them. But in life, are we heading towards Sodom? Or are we heading towards Jerusalem? Are we Jerusalem, Yerushalayim? Two words. The word Shale means completion or peace, and Yerah'am means appear, as in as God, as Abraham says in this week's Torah portion, it's a mountain on which God will appear. A closeness to God leading to spiritual perfection and righteousness. That's the ideals of Jerusalem. Sodom is the opposite. Which will it be? Which direction you're going? Good Shabbos.